as the officer about to speak to you. I present Admiral Chester W. Nimitz, U.S. Navy Commander-in-Chief, U.S. Pacific Fleet and Pacific Ocean Areas. following officers and men of all services, civilian defense workers in Pearl Harbor. This date, the 7th of December, and this site, the Pearl Harbor Navy Yard, are a fitting time and place for me to tell you that all six of the Japanese aircraft carriers that opened this war by attacking us here three years ago now lie at the bottom of the sea. Of these last ghosts of stolen Japanese glory at Pearl Harbor. It should be interesting and perhaps inspiring to you men and women whose skill, sacrifice, and devotion have made it possible if I recall to you a bit of the history of another ghost fleet, I refer to those American warships that lay hurt, some of them on the bottom of this harbor, three years ago this noon. Most of this ghost fleet, which our enemy said was sunk or damaged beyond repair, is today haunting our enemy in a most unghost-like fashion, thanks again to your sweat and toil. You remember the light cruiser Helena. She survived Pearl Harbor to live and fight and die again. She made a record which is almost legendary. Took part in eight separate actions before she was finally lost in July 1943. You remember the light cruisers Honolulu and Raleigh. Their log and battle actions since you sent them out to sea again, reads like a partial history of this Pacific War. You remember the destroyer Shaw, the mine layer Oglala, the tender Curtis, and the repair ship Boston. I'm proud to tell you that each of them is back in action today. The destroyers Cassin and Downs did not go back as whole ships, but their boilers, machinery, and some sections of their hulls were sent back to make a new Cassin and a new Downs. They carry on the fight today. The target ship Utah lies on the bottom of this harbor, and although she could be raised, I rather hope she may become a permanent monument to the day when our national war was reborn. The battleship Oklahoma was raised by your ingenuity. Even the Arizona was not a total loss. You yourselves cut her up for scrap, and you know, therefore, that the very armor have, of our sides has gone back into the fight against the enemy. You remember the battleship Nevada. She lay beached right over there just three years ago. Yet on invasion day a few months ago, she bombarded the Normandy coast and did an excellent job of it. That leaves me five more ghost ships to tell you about. They are all big ones. The battleships Pennsylvania, Maryland, Tennessee, California, and West Virginia. That list will seem ironic to the Japanese Admiralty because if you add to these five the name of the Mississippi, you have the exact list of battleships that lined up across Surigao Strait shortly before dawn on October 25th and sent all eight Japanese warships opposing them to the bottom. They must indeed have seemed like the ghosts of Surigao to the enemy if the enemy had time to see them, because in less than 15 minutes, those Pearl Harbor cripples poured into that yacht fleet what was perhaps the greatest, quickest, and most devastating naval gunfire in the history of warfare. 
That was at almost the very hour of the same day when the Zui Kaku, last of the six Jack carrier attackers at Pearl Harbor, was being sent off Luzon to the northeast. The lucky train had finally reached the end of our luck. That is the history of Pearl Harbor so far. I tell it only because it symbolizes what you men and women of Pearl Harbor and of our Navy Yards and the mainland have achieved by your skill and devotion. You have been the surgeons of the fleet. You have reformed the broken sides of wounded ships and sent them out to fight again. I do not have to say well done. The guns of the ships you sent back into battle to speak America's gratitude more eloquently than I could. Your record of war bond purchases also is a challenge to the American people. Nearly 90% of the civilian workers of the Pearl Harbor Navy Yard are regular buyers of war bonds. Every shop in the yard is in the over 90% class. You are thus helping furnished a shelled refire in battle from the guns of the very ships you have reconditioned for action. Admiral Furlong is rightly proud of you. I am proud of you. America is proud of you. 